Hey, Zach. Hey, how are you? Good, man. Uh, did you get the video that I sent to you earlier? Yeah, I did. I've been busy. I haven't been able to watch it all the way. I took a look at it in the beginning, though, but got an idea for the first bar, kind of the second bar. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a busy day. My busy gosh. Past. How long did you know had, How long did you know this? Uh, when did you get the material for the audition? Um, well, I think I messed up because I was relying on just specifically the school email. And oh. the reason, like only one, like they used another system too, I guess. Right. I should have known about. So it was probably available probably maybe a week prior. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I was kind of beating myself up for that one, but it's all good. Uh, I've been we're already worked through most of the other, like, so there's two pages that I think are required for the audition. Okay. And the second one is easy. It's like Bossa Nova, 16th notes, and then just some other, like, uh, quarter notes mixed with, like, some just in, yeah, other stuff. But I, I got it. It's, okay. That one's pretty okay. good. Okay, you're not too worried about that one, then? Yeah, that one I already did it, basically. I just need to make the video to it now. So um, is that audition, is that for the jazz band and this one is for the the wind ensemble? They're both, they're both for, so how it works is I guess the wind ensemble is a, like combined with applied music. So okay. I guess applied music is like personal instruction for an hour a week. Okay. But also like, they're kind of like, they help you kind of navigate. Like, they're the ones who decide what ensembles you're ready for or whatever. Okay. I don't know exactly. But they seem everything seems really chill. The guy was really nice. Um, he's gonna he's actually meet I'm gonna meet with him sometime tomorrow. We're gonna he's gonna give me some and we're gonna talk about audition stuff, but also Good. um he's gonna give me some just like per advice when it comes to like music education and stuff at RCC. But yeah, yeah he's the one who actually like is running the auditions and stuff. He's the actual drum like per guy. So okay. Yeah, so I had my one class today with the wind ensemble when I, I guess I was supposed to, like, I was, I was, it was okay for me to be there, because that's where I guess I was technically supposed to be, but I was then. Oh, school started already? Yeah, started yesterday. Okay. I, mean, I need to check out my other stuff and work on that, too, tonight. But I have this one class I just finished called, like, Jazz Improvisation. Okay, And I was cool. excited about it, but I think I might, I've been contemplating dropping it, because I reached out to the professor and stuff, too, but. It's, I, like, he asked me, like, what instrument I play, and, um, oh, my mic's on muted. Sorry, boys, I was playing some games with right. my brother and his buddy. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, but, like, the class, because he asked me, what do I play? And I told him, I said, like, oh, I play drums. Right. And he was, oh, that's really cool. But for this, like, we're not, you can't, like, he's like, I wish you could, but we can't. Like, you have to either do piano or vocals, because you like don't have anything else I guess and it was kind of weird because the whole like the whole re I went through my classes really well right. and like tried to figure out like what was centered around percussion and stuff and it said it was so I don't know so I sent him an email okay. and I told him like straight up I said I said listen like like I've come to realize now like you know drum notation is different from right. Are you looking at an email from the professor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm looking at what I sent him. Okay, yeah, okay, I, I'm just yeah. making sure I sent him an email. Um, so basically, yeah, I just told him, like, hey, like, what would you recommend? Because, you know, I want to do drumming and stuff, and I don't know if this is necessarily, like, you know, I only have so much time and stuff, you know, and I'm okay. already devoting so much of my time to this, and, like, I want to do it, but I'm thankful for it. But I just want to make sure I'm doing the right stuff. So he hasn't gotten back to me yet, but we'll see. Um, yeah, but, but I'm, not, I'm not, everything else seems to be running really smooth. It's okay. just this class. But what I'm thinking is, the only thing I'm worried about is if this is a required class, because I don't think it is. Right. And if it isn't, drop it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to meet with a counselor, because if I can drop this, then I can uh, get involved with the jazz ensemble. Hopefully. But I think that might involve another audition. I'm not sure. But there's other papers and stuff, too. Funny right. enough, there's other things, I guess, optional things you can make in the video, too, right. for auditions. But those two are, like, the main ones they want to see. Yeah. Um, 
But the all the other ones, I can do everything else. This is the only one I was like, oh, five four, huh? And even in the even so, it doesn't look too complicated. Yeah, I mean, I'm really glad it isn't seven eight or nine. Yeah, seven eight or something other. Five four is, it's you're just adding another beat in there. Um, uh, a thing is, okay, so. Because you're not planning on being a music major, right? You're just going to take a couple of music classes, then you're going to learn a um, trade, right? Well, no, I, well, my goal it says is, or the goal I believe I am going for is, I don't know, if, is there only one, is the only thing a music major? Is that it? <laughs> I, and I think that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I mean, there's such thing as a music minor. No, I'm, let me see. Yeah, I, let me see. Music, program of study, music, jazz performance is my current goal for this class, which I think will just get me ready to transfer on to maybe pursue a music major. But um, this is like the thing I, I'm not sure. But, well, sorry, go on. But didn't you say that you want to learn a trade also? Yes, I do. So, I mean, it's possible. I mean, you could learn like a regular trade and that being your major and then you be a minor in music. Or you just take a couple fun music classes. Um, yeah. I guess I'm still navigating it. I think it's important that I meet with a counselor. Yeah, because... Uh, I definitely bring that off. I mean, because how long have I known you now? Two years or so? I believe so. Two okay. or three. This is, this is what I recommend for, for most people, right? If they want to be a real-life musician. Um... Here's a couple classes that are really important. Um, uh, music fundamentals, where you learn how to read music. Um, they, that they tell you about music notation and everything. That's really important. Uh, music fundamentals. Uh, maybe beginning music history. That that that's good. Um, at least one semester of music theory. And um, and at least one at least one or two semesters of ear training. Those are the most important classes that I, I mean, out of all my years of studying music. I mean, I studied music in college for, is it nine, ten years now? Wait, eight, twelve years. I think it was twelve years of college. Um, those are the thing, the biggest things that I took away from it. Um, but. It depends on what your major is. I mean, if uh, because the thing is, well, I mean, that's a you know that's a lot of stuff. I mean, so let's focus on this thing. Uh, the biggest thing is we need to work on is sticking on this. So I mean, I could tell you every single type of sticking that would be on here that that you should do. Um, but, um, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll just tell it to you right now. Um, so can we just go through it one, one note at a time? Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me get, um, let me see if I can do this with my iPhone. So you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Okay, gotta sharpen this pencil. The numbers are gonna be really small. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Well, that was weird. Oh, we're getting feedback. Okay. Can. Okay, I don't know what. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Here, let's just go through this and plow through it. Oh, gosh. Not very clear. Uh, I can make it out, kind of. See? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Here, let me let me drop this one here. Let's see if that'll help a little bit. 
missed if I could drop out of this. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll just we'll just talk through it really quick. Okay, so uh, first note is right. So put an R. Got it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ugh. Okay, right, left, right, left. The sticking is the most important thing because it's going to show, it, it'll it keep the rhythm more um, consistent. Okay. And then what we're going to do, usually for buzz rolls, you don't, you don't have a certain amount of... How about those lines going through the note R? Yeah, th those means buzz rolls. So you're gonna do you're gonna do a buzz roll for a quarter note. So what how we're gonna translate that is just because time is extremely limited here, think of those as four sixtieth notes, but you're buzzing them. So I mean you could even just put a notation on the top of it. Four sixtieth notes like that. Okay. Oh geez. Can you see that? Yeah, I see. Okay. And then what you can do is you're gonna put a line through it, it diagonally. Gosh, I don't even know if you could re make that out. Oh gosh, let me. Maybe if I put better lighting on it. Line through it diagonally. I see. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Okay, so I'll I'll do a big version of it. It'll look like this. Can you see that? Yes. And then you're gonna put a slash going through oh, each of I it. See. That's just gonna indicate a buzz. Okay. Okay. And then right under it, right under the, we're on beat four now. One, two, three, four. It's just gonna be right, left, right, left. Uh, then right, left. I'm just giving you the sticking that I did. Da, 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 da. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll just go through the first line of this, sticking-wise, and then we'll go through it. Um, so, can you see the sticking? Yes, I got it all. Okay, you got it? Okay, let's go to the next measure. So, oh, make sure also you number the measures on the, the center of each measure. One, two, three. In the classical music world, or even the jazz world, it's important to number your measures because when your conductor is going to go, everybody, go to measure 9, measure 10, and 11. You don't want to be going like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 every single time. Yeah. So you just number the measures in the center. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're in measure three. Okay. So the sticking, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Again, we're going to do the four, say, six notes above it. Indicating that we're doing a buzz note, starting with the right hand. Oh, where is that? Gosh, I should have made this turn out a lot bigger. Okay. Do you have that? Yes. Okay, cool. And and on the right hand. Okay. Uh, First off, do you know what that F and that P on the bottom mean? I see the P. No, I do not. Okay, okay. So let's let's go write down these definitions. F, put forte, F-O-R-T-E. Okay. Okay. And that just means loud. It's Italian. Traditionally, most music is um, is the words they'll use is Italian, at least in the classical music world. 
no matter even if you're a composer in Germany, Beethoven still wrote his directions in Italian. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't. That's just become the standard. It's in Italian. Uh, the P means piano, so just spelled like a piano of a like a you know like a keyboard. Yeah. And that stands for soft. That's that means soft. So, fun little trivia, trivia, the piano is actually, the, the piano keyboard, the instrument, the full name of it is actually called a piano forte, because it could play really loud and it could play really soft. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Funny. Before the piano was invented, it was the harpsichord, and the harpsichord could only play soft, but not very loud instruments. Uh. So, piano forte. So, piano means soft, forte means loud. Okay, back to the sticking. Measure three. Can you see my... Yes. Okay. So, right, left, right. And then beat two. Right. Right, left. So we're on beat two. Oh, I'm going to get my other light. The sound of throwing it off. Okay. Uh, where are we? Ooh. Ooh. What the heck? Is my phone? Is my phone freezing? There it goes. No, it was for a second. But okay. Now it's not. So right, left, right, 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 left, and let me just write all the sticking, and then I'll just show it to you. Right, left, right. I was thinking of like just writing it in and then sending you my copy, but because it'll be like a copy of a copy of a copy, yeah. it's going to start losing. Um, you can't really see anything. Okay. This is going back to the rule. All the down beats, as much as possible, would be on the right hand. All the off be up beats would be in the left hand. So here we go. So... Right, left, right. I see. Right, right, left. right, left. Right, left, right. Right, left, left. And then right, left, left. And the down before the next measure will be your right, just so you know, because we're going to end it there. So let's try going through... Let's go through the first measure of it. And All we're right. just going to go, we're going to just plow through this one measure at a time. You got it. Thank you, Justice. I really appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to help. Okay. okay. I, should, I probably should have done it in traditional grip so you could see more the way you're holding it. Next video I'll make, I'll, I'll do traditional grip. Fine. Okay. Can you see... Oh, you can't see my pad, can you? There it is. There, there okay. So, first measure. Uh, where's my sticks? Okay. Traditional grip. Okay. So, it's going to be a right flam. So left stick will be on the bottom and right now we won't have to we won't worry about the dynamics okay um okay actually um for the first measure let's just get the rhythm without the buzzes and without the flam so it'll be like this okay one two three four five so let me count it with the with the actual syllables. I guess you would you would count it. One, a two, and three e and a four e and a five and. I'll do it slower. One, a two, 
and three e and uh, four e and uh, five. Yeah, yeah, we're going to ignore the buzzes for right now. Okay. Five and, yeah. Good. Okay. Now, um, you know what, let's just go through this whole line without worrying about buzzes or flams, okay? Um, let's go through the next measure, okay? So it'll be like this. Oh, how do you count this? One and a... Um, because I don't know how you count those six single triplets, we'll just say triplet, okay? One triplet, oh, one triplet, two triplet, four, and five, oh, five, whoa. Four Iana, sorry. One, triple it two, triple it three, and four E and a five. Let's do the yeah. Let's do it again. One, triple it two, triple it three, and four E and a five. Yes, good. The here, let me play it again, and then you copy. One, triple it, two, triple it, three, and four, E, and a five. Good, good. Uh, do that two more times, just to... Good. Very good. Very good. Cool. Okay. Uh, next measure. Okay. And then we're going to cycle around and we'll add the flams, we'll add the rolls. Okay. Later on. Okay. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, measure four. Okay. Uh, one. Uh, I'll just start. Okay. One E and. Two and uh, three e and four e ah uh, four, four e ah uh, four e ah uh, four e ah uh, five e ah uh, okay I sorry I've never said these out loud uh one e and two and uh, three e and four e ah uh, five e ah uh, one we're starting with the next beat of the next measure of, of measure four but say uh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, we're at, uh, just start from measure three. Okay, so. So, here, here, let me play for you again. Okay. So, one, uh, one, e, and, two, and, uh, three. Let's just, let's just do two beats at that time. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. So that's just the first two beats. Da, 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 da. Good. Now the next beat, it goes da, 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 da. You're close, you're close. It, it goes like this. One E and two and uh, three E and. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, that was perfect. Do it again. Yeah, go ahead and do it slowly. From the beginning? No, no, just do measure three. Yeah, from the measure three from the beginning. So, was that correct? Um, I, 
I think you missed a couple beats, but it's it's all right. It's all right. I'm throwing I'm throwing a lot at you. Okay. Uh, let me let me just do beats one, two, and three. Okay. Okay. Just memorize what that sounds like. Is it on beat at the end of beat three? So after the so right after that is it left right? So it's is that correct? Uh. One, so do it right, again. Left right right so right left right 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 left right left right. Oh, sorry. I I don't know exactly where you are. Are you on measure three? Yes. Yes, on measure three. Okay. Like here, just going through the the whole measure three. Yeah. So it's right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right. Is oh, that? Oh, okay. Yeah. So beat three is the same as beat one. So it's this. Da 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 da. So let me just play the whole thing. Da 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 da. What e and two and the three e and. So what I want you to do, what it's important to hear is, right now, and I think it, I have the sticking. I mean, maybe I wrote the sticking wrong. I it, it takes a while to to do this, but right now, what's tough is because you're learning, you know, what these rhythms are, is is to look at everything at one unit. Yeah. Like this is da 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 da. Da, 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 right? Yeah. This one here on beat two is da, 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 da. Beat three is the same as beat one. Da, 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 da. And this will happen over time. You'll be able to look at not just individual notes, but you'll be able to look at groups of notes, and then it'll get to the point where you can look at a whole measure, right? I see. So, go ahead. No, it's right. It's right. You know, why don't we do this? This will make it a little bit easier. On top of the music, write this down. Uh, where's my other? my small pencil. Ooh, there it is. Because what's important to know is not even so much just the notes that you're playing, but also the notes that you're not playing. That's very important. Yeah, no, thank you. Sorry. No, no. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. It's, it's you know, you're basically like cramming for the SATs in three days. Yeah. So. One. E. I'm just going to write down what the notes are so you can see. 4, E, and. It's important to see like where the notes fall along the grid. Okay. 4, E, and. Okay. Tell me if you could see this. Yes. See, see the, can you see that? Can you copy that on your. Yes. Can you back it up just a little bit? I oh yeah. Is that a little bit better? Is it not bright enough? It's a little blurry. Is it? It's E and a. Right? Yeah. What about yeah. this? Does that help? Oh yeah, yeah. One E. One E a uh, two E a. Uh, yeah, three. one E and a. Uh, so oh, the the plus sign is the and. Oh, that's right. So I'm just using the letter E and the letter A for the the one E and and the letter A for a. Uh. So the goal right now, what what kind of needs to happen, is you have to basically know each measure and like kind of memorize each measure, and just by looking at 
the mesh you're going like oh this is what that that sounds like um so you're semi reading but you're semi memorizing because even for me i mean because it's been a long time since i read music like this i you know i had to read through it at least once before i recorded that video for you And a goal for your audition is, okay, so the, the audition is calling for 112 beats per minute, 112 to 120 beats per minute, which is pretty fast. But if I was your professor, the thing I'd be looking at for more is your rhythm accuracy and um, dynamics. Those are the two most important things. Because eventually you could s just speed it up. Um, but, you know, as, as far as what I'm concerned, I'm, I'm more concerned with accuracy than I am about, like, you got to play this at tempo. Because at tempo, it'd be like this. Let me see if I can even read this backwards. It'd be that fast. I see. But realistically, that's not going to happen. You know, yeah. what what's what's more important is that you just read the notes correctly and you get the dynamics correctly. Those are the most important things. All right, yeah, I got it written now. Okay, good. And then after we get this, we'll string all those three measures together. Um, and then we'll add the flams and the buzzes. Alrighty. Okay. You know what? Let me see if I could do this. Um, oh, that would take too long. Um. So it'll just be like this, okay? Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll count out loud, sorry. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four. Let's not worry about measure four or five. Just uh, beat four and five. We'll just beat one. Yeah, let's just do measures one, uh, beats one, two, and three of measure three, okay? Just close your eyes from the music really quick. Just memorize what this sounds like. Because you can log this, this sound in your head, okay? So, again. One more time. Now try to emulate that sound. Irregardless of sticking, don't look at the music. Just... Da, 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 da. Actually, just sing. Can you sing that really quick? Da, 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 da. Good, good. One more time. Da, 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 da. Yes. So this is the thing Dave Bleckel talks talks about. If you can't play it, sing it first. That way you at least know what it sounds like. And then you just add your hands to it. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I see now. <laughs> Good. So that's the first three beats right there. That's the first three beats. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for beats four and five? Yes. Okay, so. and we'll do beats four and five and ending on beat measure of the beat one of the next measure, measure four. So why don't we just do the same thing? Let's click our, we'll click our stick and we'll just sing what that rhythm is, okay? okay. So uh, I'll just give you two clicks in. So it'll be like this. Da, 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 da. 
Okay. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. One, two, three. That, 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 that. See if you can do that. Perfect. Again. Perfect. Good. Okay. Yeah. And the sticking is right, left, left, right, left, left, right. I see. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Now I can, once you show me the, uh, the first half of the bar, now I kind of see it. For some reason it was coming off as, I don't know. No, there's a lot of information on that one measure. Perfect. Good. Very good. Yeah, that's the easiest one probably on the bar. <laughs> no, I mean, um, no, I... It's a good one, though. Yeah, it's a good one. It, and this is, what's fun about these rhythms is I do rhythms like this on the ride cymbal all the time. So it'll just be like this. So, like, if I was just doing it with one hand. Right? Yeah. And that's cool, you know, add that to a drum beat. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, let's. Okay, let's. Sorry. Let's try this now with adding. Let's go through the first measure. Uh, Let's see if we could go through first measure, second measure. No, no, no. What should we do first? Should we, do you want to add the flams and buzz roll first for each measure, or do you want to go through all measures one, two, and three? What'd you say? Which, which do you want to do first? Do you want to go from measures one, two, and three, the way we've been playing it? Or do you want to do each measure and just focus on like the flam and the rolls right now? Let's... Let's go back to one and focus on the flam and the rolls. Okay. Because like, once I have an understanding of those two, of that first measure, I'll be able to take that and apply it to some of these other measures. Yes. Okay. Cool. So flam, it's we're gonna do a right flam. So left hand will be in the bottom. Let me put my screen down. Oops. That's the the right hand. Right hand flam is the right hand's accent. Right? Yeah. Right hand's on the louder note. So make sure though, when you do this flam, that your right hand isn't gonna be louder than your left hand when you, when you play the next note. So basically what I'm saying is don't do this. Right? You, the notes have to be even. I see. Do you see the difference between the two? Yeah. Like if we did this? Okay, yeah. so like, I see, so. Yeah. Yeah, and what you're going to want to do is close that flam a little bit where the notes are a little bit closer to each other. So right now your flam is an open flam, which on the drum set is awesome, going like this. But we want to close the flam, making the notes a little bit closer to each other. You hear a difference? Yeah. 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 And now measures three. We're just let's just do a four six. No, let's just work on beat three. Let's work on just beat three going to downbeat of beat four. So let's just work on that, just that buzz roll, okay? So it'll be like this. Let's do this. So do this first. Do that. One more time. Okay, now 
with the buzz roll, what we're, we're going to do is we're not going to do double bounces, right? On a drum set, a lot of times you'd play like you'd play this, our marching, more marching snare drum. You do this um, instead of instead of this, right? It's you hear you hear you hear how you could hear it, da, 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 right? We're not doing that for class for classical music. We're just gonna press into the snare like this. So it'll be like this. Yeah, just press into the snare. Yeah, and just try one hand first and see how long you can let that thing buzz. Just you're putting a little bit of pressure into it gradually. Yeah. But the the very last note on beat five, because it goes four E and a five, that five is gonna be just a regular stroke. Yeah, there you go. Very good, very good. So push light push into the snare but not like with Yeah, because if you dig into it, it's not gonna resonate very long, right? Is it is it hard for you to hear this practice pad? Uh, not too bad. Would a would a snare drum with a towel be better for you? Um, nah, it's okay. It's fine. I I have the snare. I just have it in the other room. Let me just grab it. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. So, I uh, see, I always approached buzz rolls as doubles. I always was like. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Uh, where's, where the heck are my drumsticks? Oh, here it is. Okay. Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> and it's a right hand lead or a left right, hand lead? Right hand lead. As far as, I, as far as what I saw so far, all the, all the buzz will start with the right hand. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, very good. So. Yeah. Okay. But remember, it's followed by four sixth notes, right? Good. Try do four that um, and two more and times. Is that a four E and a five N, right? Yeah, four E and a five N. Good. Good job counting. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Now let's see if we can get the the first measure. Okay, so let me do it twice. Just listen, and then then you'll copy. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Good. Good. Yeah, let's try to get, let me play it again. Uh, let's
minutes and on the downbeat of the next measure, okay? So. So one, a two, and three, e, and a four, e, and a five, and one. Good, good. Do that two more times, just to cement it in your head. Good. I think I stopped counting on that. No, it's alright. Yeah, all, all you did is you, you extended the buzz rolls into the next, into beat four. Um, so, just remember, four buzz rolls, four single strokes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Very good. That's all right. That's all right. Good. Okay, one thing that's very, very important when it comes to reading music is if you make a mistake, just keep playing. Just keep on playing because the rest of the ensemble is going to keep on going. So yeah. you, you, what you do is like, if, let's say, let's say you made a mistake on, let's just say measure two, okay? I'm going to purposely make a mistake on measure two, and I'm just going to wait to go on the downbeat of beat three. So. Three, four. Five. So even though I made a huge mistake in measure two, just either stop <laughs> and just wait for the next measure. Yeah. Um, and that, if your teacher can see you do that, going like, oh, even if you make a mistake, you just keep on plowing. That's awesome. I. I always give my students more points for that because that's actually harder to do. So yeah. all I'm saying is just make sure you're counting in your head. And if you make a mistake, do not swear in front of the teacher. Yes. 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 Do not go like, fuck, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, so that's just an extra, an added thing. Okay, let's uh, do a measure one, one more time like this. You don't have to do it that fast. Perfect. Perfect. Keep on doing that until you feel 100% com comfortable with it. Good. Good. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Um, the only thing we need to work on in measure two is that buzz roll there, right? And all we're doing is four six notes, but we're going to use buzzes instead of this the regular strokes, right? Yeah. So it'll sound like this, okay? Okay. Yes. That was perfect. Yeah. There you go. Very good. Very good. Is 
that's not great. Right. That's, oh, that's what a buzz roll is considered? Like, that's what a buzz roll is. It's we're like putting force to have. And I'm sure with practice, you get better at doing that very thing, right? There. Yeah, because what happens is. Um, Eventually, I'll, I'll teach you this technique where where you're not counting strokes. You're actually just counting how long the buzzes last. And you're ignoring your hands, but you're counting in your head. It's a weird thing, but we won't worry about that now. Um, for right now, you know, a quarter note, a quarter note equals four, buzz, four buzzes. Four I see. Note buzzes. I see. Thank you. Yeah. Great uh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, I'm going. Everywhere. That's all right. It's all right. Wait, wait, wait. Take a deep breath in. <laughs> Take a deep breath out. It's a lot of information I'm throwing at you. It's a lot of information. Um, since we have about eight minutes left i want to say it looks like the next two like measures bars four and five look somewhat easier yes like there's something on the end there that looks somewhat intimidating okay yeah measure six you need to know what those things are on measure six mm -hmm. and you need to know what is on measure seven right is that the thing you're talking about on measure seven so we're looking uh, at we're looking at system two so, uh, system means this. This is one system. This is second system. This is third system. Fourth system. Five, six, seven, eight, all the way down it, to eleven. It looks almost like yeah. So, um, on system two, it looks like on the end, the like last chunk of bar five, or the. Are right, measure seven? The very last measure, so I'm still saying the seventh measure oh, I'm overall, but I'm on the second system. I'm on the very last measure of the second yeah, system. Six and seven. Right? Yeah. Six um, and seven. Yeah, so those are two sixtieth notes, two sixtieth note buzzes. So it'll be like this. Um, uh, Look like this. Uh, let me see how many. Let me think how many. How much this is. With the lines through it, even though it has a tail, kind of. Yeah, it's going to be like this. Da, 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 da. Uh, wow, this is tiny. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, this very last measure. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, my okay. mistake. See, I, I screwed up on writing the count of my thing. So there's four bars in that second line. I didn't realize. Yeah, it, it switches off between yeah, three bars and four bars. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah. Um, I, so yeah, six and seven then. Yeah, six and seven. So basically, you're going to be doing two buzz rolls on the and of one. And then you're going to do six buzz rolls on sorry i'm looking at this on the other side of the paper one two what the heck one yeah. oh my gosh this is confusing Ugh. okay i hate that they actually notate it like this um oh. let's okay Let's re-notate this because this notation is very confusing. Yeah, no worries. Okay. It'll be like this. Okay. Because what's hard about this, the way they notate it, it's hard to see where that downbeat is. Most people wouldn't notate it like that. Um, or it's just more difficult than it needs to be. Yeah. I changed it where I added a quarter note. Ugh. Can you even see that? Yeah, I do see it. 
Okay, let me add the numbers on it so it'll be a little bit more clear. Oh, I actually already did. Because I was actually having problems with this measure. Three, four, five. Don't worry about the time limit. It's it's not a big deal at all. I'd rather get these measures taken care of. Oh, sorry, I'm facing the light the wrong way. I see. Do you want me to write where the ands are? Uh, no, it's okay. Now I see. I see everything. I'm getting an understanding. Or, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I see where the ands are. Okay. The, the buzzes are the ands. I'm going to write this in a giant piece of paper really quick. One question I do have yes. is on the buzz roll notes, why does one have three and then one have two? Like lines through the side, like there's lines going uh, through. I think in... It doesn't matter. It's just... No, I... Um... Oh, because... Because ultimately, ultimately, those slashes kind of mean tails, okay? Let, oh, me, okay? let me explain. Because that actually just threw me off right now, too. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay. I'm going to notate this, and then I'm going to notate it in simpler notation, okay? So... Uh, Where's my iPhone? Where the heck's my iPhone? Sorry. No, no worries. Is, I, I, I was organizing all my guitar stuff today. And, <laughs> oh, there's my phone. It's on the floor. I really appreciate you taking the time. Oh, yeah. This is important. I see you. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Let me join the meet. Yeah, I mean, let's... Why don't we say, as long as I don't know what your schedule is, Let's just get through measures one to to seven. Well, no, if you want, yeah. If we just get through, honestly, I am looking at it right now, oh. and I'm like the rest of it. Six and seven are the only two things on here that really else look confusing. You know what I mean? Like everything else on here looks pretty. Like after what you showed me today, like I can, I can. Uh, I'm gonna work on this tonight too. Okay. Okay. Like I don't want. I'm good. I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's, it's kind of like, like you know. Sorry, maybe maybe feedback feedback back here. No, no worries. Okay. I appreciate you. So basically, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, here, I'm trying, like, let me show you. Yeah, yeah. So, look at this. Go on. Oh, perfect. A big shark. Can you see that? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. This is the same as that. this. Oh. Okay. Now, think of it like this. We got this. We got this line. We got these two lines. Oh, sorry. See that? Yeah. That's the same as. Oh my goodness! This. So I'm just overthinking it. No, no, it's confusing. It, yeah. I mean, I I had to look at, look at it for a split second and go, "What the heck is that?" Yeah. So now, let's break down that last measure, and I'm just gonna keep on simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. Okay. Alrighty. So the original thing looks like this. Let's write one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, am I upside down? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five. 
You see that? Yeah. Okay, this sharpie is super dry. I need to get another sharpie. Ugh. Okay. Let's switch between blue and red. So the original notation. We got a rest. We got this. Two lines going across. Two and. It's a tie there. And. Okay, this was the original notation. Ugh. So confusing. Oh, sorry, that there was. This thing wasn't there. It was a dot. Four. Five. It was like this, right? Originally? You see that? Yes. Is that what the original one is? Minus this thing. Sorry for that little typo. Oh, that it, looked like, it looked like that, right? Yeah, it looked like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a dotted line with red where one, two, three, four, and five is. Okay. Can you see my entry? That way we know exactly where everything is lining up. It's really funny you could actually hear us doing the dotting. Yeah, the dot. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> okay. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So now we know exactly where we're one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're, we're gonna simplify the notation a little bit, okay? So uh, let me do it in red, let's see. This, the first two beats are gonna be exactly the same. And people do this all the time. They'll they'll renotate something to go like, oh yeah, that's confusing the way the composer notated it. I'm gonna renotate it so I can actually understand it. This happens all the time. So you're not really cheating. Okay. Okay. There. There. Uh, one, two, three. And this. Okay. See that? Yeah. Okay. These are with all the buzzes. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down these buzzes to what they would just be with like six in notes, right? Okay. Okay. Back to blue. Okay. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? Okay. Uh, nah. You see that? Yes. Okay. Da 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 da. And then what we'll do is we'll just put those little slashes there just to remind us that's what we're buzzing. But first practice it without those buzzes. So it goes da 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 right? That doesn't sound too complicated, right? One da 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 three da 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 then we'll just add the buzz rope, the buzz is to it. Da, 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 da. Well, that doesn't make sense. Um, let's go back to the drumsticks. I see what you're saying. I see. So, one, two, one. So, one. Yeah. Do, do it without the buzzing first. Just do the stroke. So, like this, uh, we're, okay, this is what happens when you have too many instruments in your bedroom. I'm like looking at all these guitars. Where's my drumstick? Okay. 
Okay. Is it on my head? Okay. I have to grab another drumstick. I don't know where my other stick went. Okay. Okay. It's just like this. Let's break, let's just make it as simple, easy peasy. One. Three. And count One. that note out loud so you know exactly that's where that downbeat is. Even if you said it out loud or you just whisper it to yourself, people do it all the time, especially when you're a drummer, you could get away with it because your drums are louder than you're talking. You go one, three, one, three. Good. Do, do that again two more times. Very good. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Okay. Now, for every 60th note that you're going to play on that, you just buzz it. One, three. It'll sound like this with with just the regular snare. One, three. Okay. One. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. One, three. One, three. Yeah. Oh my gosh, your buzzer sounds so good. <laughs> you sound really good. Maybe it's the maybe it's the camera. <laughs> no, I, I think it's because you're practicing the buzzes without the towel, and then when you took off the the towel, all of a sudden you had a lot more bounce with the head. Yes, that sounds great, Zach. That sounds super good. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Justice. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. Okay. You got, you got right. that. Let's. What? Let's work on the measure right before that, okay? Measure six. That demon. <laughs> okay, this is really easy. This is really easy, okay? So, without those, without those things, uh, those things are called roughs, okay? There's two ways of playing roughs, okay? There's this, there's this way where you're actually literally doing those two notes before it, Going like this. I'll do it really slow. Okay? It's like a oh. flam, but you're doing two notes instead. I see. That's a marching band way of doing it. A classical way of doing it is you use a buzz roll. So it be, instead of this... Uh, let me get black sticks inside. It's hard to see. Uh. This will have to do. Okay. You see my black sticks? Okay. So instead of this, it'll be this. You hear oh, a difference? It's just the buzz before it. Yeah. So instead of a flam, you're going. So all you're thinking is this, okay? One, two, three, four, five. That's all that is. One, two, three, four, five. I see it. Okay, let's try it first with just your right hand. Just use your right hand. Go. One, two, three, four. Cool, do that two more times. One, two, uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Good. Now do it with flams. Okay. So it'd be like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good. Yeah, all right hand sticking. One, two, three, four, five. Very important, that's all right hands on there. Actually, I'm going to rotate that right now.
But the left hand is doing the buds. Yeah, yeah. So don't even bother writing left hand buds. Just put right. Okay, so now do this. Okay? Now instead of your your left hand doing a little tap like that, I'll exaggerate the difference. Okay? All you're doing is you're buzzing that left hand. Yeah. You hear this in second line drumming all the time. Perfect. Perfect. Do that two more times. One, three. Perfect. That's it. One, three. Good. One, three. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so Zach, um, are you working tomorrow or do you have the whole day off because you're planning on going I, to school? Unfortunately, work tomorrow. I've been taking the the week. Um, I've taken these. I had Monday off just because it was a holiday, but right. I had to take Tuesday and Wednesday off too just because like, I found out that there was a lot to do. So, right. Uh, uh, what yeah, is your schedule tomorrow? And tomorrow I'm off at three thirty. So um, you're off I'm at three thirty. Yeah, I'm off at three thirty. What? And when are you meeting with the the school? Um, I he reached out to me for one o'clock, but I told him I worked, and I told him if it came down to it, like I could be him. I don't know, bring my freaking Chromebook to work and take a extra long lunch or something, and just sit at work. And they're cool with it. Yeah, I mean, if you can do that, that would be awesome. I mean, just, I mean, it's just showing your teacher, like, hey, I'm making this a priority, right? Um, yeah, I'm trying. I really want to, you know. So um, I'm freaking just been working on it. Yeah. But, like these, this, these past couple of days have just been, uh, been busy. So yeah. you're, you're officially off of work at 3.30, though, you said? Yes, sir. Okay, why why don't we do this, okay? Tomorrow, I'm gonna be. I'm going down. I I gotta check with my friends. Um, no, I might be going down to Temecula. And what we could do is we could bring our snare drums. Um. I don't know if you have a music. Do you have a music stand? Yeah. You do. Okay. Not many. Not many musicians do. Um, I, I I love mine. Mine's from a Ludwig, from like I got this like vintage Ludwig uh -huh. snare, but it came with it in the case, and it's like solid metal. Okay. Like if I don't bend it, it'll never break. And like it, everything's like, you know what I mean? It's like real deal. I, I think I can show it to you. Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah, check it out. And I, I'm stoked on this. Listen, I want you to know, like I'm gonna work on this tonight. I'm gonna try to see how far I. You know, and I'm, of course, I'm not going to rush it because, like you said, what's more, you know, important is showing an understanding of the rhythm, yeah. Rather than showing I can do it fast. I right. mean, it'd be awesome if I could do it fast and have a valid understanding of the rhythm. You know, I appreciate you for everything today, and yeah, keep talking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Talk. So basically, what I'm saying is, okay. Do you remember when you went to my old house in Marietta? There was a a Christian Nazarene church on your left-hand side? Yeah, I believe so. Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, I, yeah. If it works out with my friend, um, let's see if we can meet there from 4 to 5. And we could do a lesson, you know, either in their parking lot or we'll find something over there. Um, yeah. bring, bring your snare drum, snare stand, and the music stand and the music. Make sure you bring something that can weigh down that music because it may blow away. 
Yeah, you um, if if that doesn't work, then we'll just we'll just schedule a time um, in the in the evening. Um, okay. Yeah. Either way, whatever works for you. Yeah. Seriously, I appreciate it, and I know this is short notice. No, no, it's it's quite a right. I mean, I I I hope yeah. it'll work out that that we could actually do this one lesson at least in person tomorrow. That way, we could, you know. It's more so. I I'm just more concerned with your buzz rolls, um, and as long as you got those buzz rolls down, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's something. Well, it's funny. These like these last two bars we worked on. Those are two things that I think one of my biggest issues is overthinking. I do think I know a good amount, mm -hmm. or at least have played a good amount to have some type of an understanding. I think there's certain things I've missed because that's like one of the, that's why people aren't self-taught drummers. You know what I mean? Cause you, there's critical mistakes that you could make like me not focusing, you know, not, you know, buzzes or something like that. Or like, you know, that's why I'm thankful for your help. But I have a good feeling about this kind of stuff now that I, I don't even know. I don't know what point I was trying to make, but I'm stoked. I feel so much better about this too. Good, good. I, my biggest issue, I think, or you know, learning is learning, and I have to learn, and it's going to take time. But I can't overthink it, you know, and be like, "Oh, this is insane," you know, or like, you know, like I don't know. I kind of felt like that earlier when I was in my jazz improv class that I just took before we met up, because he was just like talking about, you know, diving into the notation of, you know, for. All types of stuff. I mean, writing out, you know, the notes. Mm -hmm. Like, as in, not drum notation, but like, a C major chord, C minor chord and stuff. And it right. wasn't, that wasn't necessarily confusing. It was breaking in. I mean, I'm. it's something I'd want to learn too. But I just kind of felt like, oh, my God, you know, he was hitting me with so much information. That was <laughs> right. Just, no, it's overwhelming. I had no idea what he was even talking about. You know what I mean? It's, it was just like. It's overwhelming. There's. Yeah. So I, it's thank you. You're grounding yeah yeah i mean that's that's the whole point of this is just to make you feel more relaxed for the audition video and thank god it's a video right now because my dough and stuff like i mean i want to do these two lessons and maybe more too but also you know i yeah we'll just focus on these three lessons we'll just well, honestly dude you're such a great teacher that if, like, if i could still try to uh, you know once I, whenever i have extra cash you know what i mean yeah so of I course no, I mean, honestly, Zach, I am right there with you. I just emailed uh, a music, a vocal teacher just today, oh, wow. and she charges $100 an hour. Oh, right? my goodness. And I told her, I was like, hey, I'm a musician also. All I can afford is one lesson a month. Are you okay <laughs> with doing that? So I'm waiting to hear back from her. She's She studied in New York, um, and she now lives in Nashville. Oh, wow. um, but... The reason I like her as a vocal teacher is she has respect for every genre of music. Pop, metal, classical, jazz. She's wow. not like a, a typical... Most music teachers, are vocal teachers, are like classical snobs. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's why I'm, I'm going with her. Even though she costs $100 an hour. Yeah, that's the most right. I've ever paid for a music lesson. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy too. I mean, to even imagine you... You know, you, you just seem so well managed on so many different things. So it's not funny. It's funny that, you know, you tell me you're taking lessons because you just, like, you are a super talented person. So it's funny hearing it coming from you. And I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm over here like, ah, you know, so it's, and, you know, I've, a lot of people have been telling me, you know, relax, you know, and just, and that's true. I mean, what I've heard too about RCC from two different professors today is that, you know, it's, a, it's an open door. Cool. You know, I'm glad to hear that. Prepare for transfer or whatever. You know, and I love music. And I think once I get past this blockade of like knowledge and vocabulary, I think I'll really break into a level of just, you know, comfortability with it, you know. Right. I mean, that's part of, you know, like earlier when I was talking about dropping that improv class, that jazz improv. Yeah, yeah I mean, unless you, unless you're playing piano or guitar or some melodic instrument, it, it doesn't really make sense for you as a drummer to be taking that class. Yeah, it, well, exactly. It, like, well, part of me, you know, part of me who wants to learn will be like, wow, that's really useful information, you know. But, like, it, 
you know, it is, but at the same time, like, I feel like with what I want to do and what I'm trying to go for, it's like something that, you know, maybe that's like a last, last year of the semester thing or something, you yeah. know, like, point. Yeah. but we'll see. Just and, figure out the, the, the bare necessities of things that you need to do. Um, because yeah. I mean, even for me, I mean, I took maybe a jazz improv class like twice, but it wasn't even necessary for my major. I just did it for fun. Um, yeah. but, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I mean, you already know, I went to graduate school and everything. I'll, I'll teach you everything that I know, you know. No, you're amazing. So. You blow anyone out of the water, dude. Thank you. <laughs> I don't recommend you to anybody. Thank you. But, hey, you is that your girlfriend about? there? Huh? Is that your girlfriend who gave you your, your big goal? Yeah, that is. Can I meet her really quick? This is my teacher, Justice. This Hi. is Alyssa. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Hey, is your roommate totally fine now? Like, I, I remember she had COVID, right, at the beginning of the pandemic. Oh, yeah, he's fine now. He um, he got it from his parents. Oh my but, gosh. Yeah, the, but his parents were pretty stupid. They uh, they went to like West Virginia because one of his sisters got married. Okay. And yeah, it. They, and this was this was a while ago. This was in like. <laughs> You this know is back I mean? in like but, March or April, right? Yeah, this was in like the peak of a lot of this. So. Yeah, but yeah, everything's fine. Everyone's now. turning out okay. Okay, good. Yeah, it's nice you, you can finally meet her. Yeah, she's been sitting here the past two yeah. days. Yeah, past two days while I've been going through schoolwork and also just. Oh doing my gosh, you're a good girlfriend, especially providing <laughs> his big gulp. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm I'm glad that your roommate is fine now, and and the parents are okay too. Yeah, they're all fine. They're um, in their mid fifties, okay. uh, so they don't have any other like health issues. Right. So that was really good that they're completely fine. They don't have any like lasting um, symptoms good. or symptoms, uh, but they did have like a little cough for a while. But now they're fine. The, yeah, the good the good thing about that is anyone who's gotten COVID already, what's nice is they don't need to get the vaccine anymore. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's the that's a really big plus because, you know, a lot of people are still iffy about the vaccine. Um, I did think that the, the antibodies... There was, it was theorized that over time you could become susceptible again. Oh, but even if you... Okay. But I but, think it's because of the, all the different strains that there are now. Right. Yeah, I think there's just so much... I mean, I'm ready for this crap. Uh, right, I know, I know. I, I I mean, even today, like, the wind ensemble professor was like... Like, you know, today we're meeting online, but, you know, we're going to we're gonna meet in person. If you feel sick, stay home. You know, and it's like, oh, man, I, I, I just want to be able to, like, focus on stuff without having to worry about getting sick. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just, like, totally. Especially for a wind ensemble where you're constantly blowing out air. Yeah. A, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. 40, you, people, 40 people in a crammed room. Yeah. What they did, okay. Did you watch Saturday Night Live last weekend? No, I didn't catch it. Okay. the All the brass musicians that play the horns. What they do is they have a stocking that goes over the front of their instruments. And it catches all the And it air. catches any of the spit. Oh my god. I would email I would take a picture of that and email it to the professor and say yeah. like, Hey, I would recommend it this for the class. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because even in Catholic churches, um, trumpets aren't allowed in Catholic churches right now. Oh wow. Because because blowing out air you're blowing out spit um yeah. i mean and there's a lot of saliva i mean every time i'm playing like a, a french horn or a trumpet it's it's really gross it's really gross <laughs> you play trumpet? Uh, yeah i play i play every instrument well uh, I, play I i taught um high school and middle school um band and orchestra for five years nice that's where i learned trumpet and flute oh <laughs> actually good for you for learning trumpet yeah it was pretty hard like the first week um 
of class, I kept complaining and saying that um, I was super lightheaded. But that's just learning how to play the trumpet. <laughs> you got more lightheaded from playing the trumpet than the flute? Yeah. It's a lot more of a... I feel like there's a lot more... Uh, it's a brass instrument. It's a lot heavier. The, the only thing I could think of is maybe you were holding your breath too long before each note. Maybe, but I also, when I was, when I learned flute, I already knew how to play an instrument, so right. it was a lot quicker. Um, oh, I, you, okay, you learned how to play flute after the trumpet. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, because I remember playing flute and being very lightheaded. Uh, <laughs> it takes so much wind to play the flute, because the thing is, a majority of the air that you're blowing gets lost. Only a yeah. little tiny fraction of that air is going inside the flute. Oh, so, wow. it, it's literally the same amount of air that you would use if you played the tuba. <laughs> That's how much air you're using. So, the tuba's a big instrument, too. So, yeah. But I'll let you guys go. Um, I'll text yeah, message you tomorrow. Thanks. I'll text message you tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I'll make sure I'm, I'm responsive and I'll be up early. And okay, thank cool. You. Everything, justice. Seriously, I'm stoked for tomorrow, and I'm going to keep on working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get sleep. It's important to get sleep because then, <laughs> no, like, everything will digest in your head. No, so it's important during this time started, to get, get a lot of sleep. Before school started, I pulled an all-nighter. Oh. I know, and I, like, was oh. like, all right, let's start my day. Like... And then I had a, then that was the day I found out I had a bunch of work and I was just like, okay. And I was still like, kind of like just adrenaline rush from not sleeping. So I just worked on this one class I have that's like all just book work and I was just grinding yesterday. You know, that's going to be the most valuable thing you'll learn from college is pulling all nighters. <laughs> Honestly, that's the most valuable thing I, I, I see. Honestly, in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all okay. Right. All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Time. Yeah, stay safe. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I'll stay safe. Bye. Bye.